Once again, an overclock got updated. This time, it's Carpet Bomber. Carpet Bomber got its AoE damage and range values changed from a flat value to a percentage, meaning when taking the gear mods for the AoE damage or range with the overclock, it will properly calculate the right amount of damage, allowing you to shred the bugs a lot faster. You'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alrighty. I'm a bit embarrassed to <laughs> admit how many times I've tried this already. Alright. So I've tried this four times already. And I've failed every single time. This is the fourth try. The first time I failed because I was being stupid and I brought a terrible secondary with me. And then the the second time I failed because uh, a goober, that's why I've decided I'm calling the Septus spreaders. The goobers decided they were gonna kill me because it was a salvage and operations and I was just like, I was like, yes, I finished the mission. No, I died because there's there's this, all this goop on the floor. The third time I died because the game would just not stop spawning in bugs like it was ha uh, the Hazard 7 mod. And I, I double checked to make sure the Hazard 7 mod was uninstalled too. Oh, goopers. Uh, where is he? No, get back here. <laughs> He's running around the corner. No. Oh, missed. No. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Now you can actually see where it's spreading the the, the acid spit now. That's actually really nice. I do. I, I did see the, the patch notes for that. They made the Praetorians actually show where they're spitting like properly. Instead of it just being like this one giant green mist that you think you dodged, but then are just taking poison damage just for no reason. But yeah, no. I've tried this four times already. <laughs> There's not much I can actually say, really. It just now kills the grunts even faster now, and the effective radius is really nice. Though I've changed back to armor breaking, because I think... Woo! That was a jump scare and a half. Um, oh my god, the decontaminator looks so good. Um, I've changed to armor breaking because it's it's just a lot nicer against like Mactera armored people. <laughs> armored bugs, not people. Yes. I've been reminded though just how annoying the Thunderhead is when you're just like shooting it. Like this is with any overclock. I'm not just saying like with Carpet Bomber as well. This is with any overclock, or just the, the Thunderhead in general. It is like, you're just so slow when you have like nothing, or when, when you don't have uh, combat mobility. You are so slow shooting this thing. I'm just so embarrassed that I kept dying in those other missions. That last mission though, I was getting mad. I was literally like, I was like, ugh, gamer rage. <laughs> Cause it was just like nonstop swarm an ambush like the moment um, a swarm would stop happening there would still be bugs all around so then an an it would be like the perfect time for an ambush to start and then another ambush like a lithophage ambush would happen and then that would happen with mission control saying that there, there's stuff on the way <laughs> so I literally was like sitting there I, I lost two of my revives and it just kept happening and the cave generation was hiding all the, the nitra down in like the deepest part of the cave. So I was just like, I'm just going to re-record this. So I just decided to abort the mission because yeah. Oh, there is a cave leech or no, that was a bug. <laughs> I was like, cave leech? No. Yeah, no, this carpet bomber definitely is a lot nicer now, though. Like before it would it would definitely do real. I like, got numbers against grunts and um, yeah, as you can tell, it's doing, it's still doing numbers, just like a lot better numbers now, that is, as it's supposed to, so that's good. <laughs> Get away from me. No, stop. Get away. But I think I just love combat mobility too much. I just love combat mobility too much for the Thunderhead, that it's like g getting off of it is like kind of a really hard, like, bounce. I don't know. I don't know how to properly describe it. It's like, it's like you're jumping on a trampoline and then you like get on the normal ground and you're like walking a bit and you're just like, uh, why am I not bouncy? That's basically what it's like. But instead, 
I'm not running around as fast as I should be with the Thunderhead. I think this is also a lot nicer, being able to actually have a good secondary for single target damage. <laughs> I've switched between... Let's see here. I've switched between Volatile Bullets with the Bulldog, the Mole, Triple Tech Chamber, and then now here I am with Elephant Rounds. <laughs> oh man. I think Elephant Rounds is just the way to go. It's now just a sniper rifle in the palm of my hand. I almost debated on taking more damage as well with the Thunderhead. Just to see how much like shredding power I would have actually had. It's fine now. Now that I, I'm actually <laughs> in a good like position. I don't know what was wrong with the cave uh, generations on those last two maps. Let's see here. The one where I was being stupid in had a kind of crappy cave generation to begin with. And then the second one where I died it had a pretty good cave generation. I just died to the, the goober. And then, yeah, no, the, the third one definitely had terrible cave generation. And then this one, this one's pretty good. So, yeah, no. My one question is, is do you have to wait for the Septus uh, abdomen to glow to do the extra critical damage? Or can you just like, can you just like bop him like on any part of his body and he'll just... He'll die. Let's see. Hello, pop. Pop. <laughs> I also wish the bugs got affected by the septus that it spreaded. Any cable leeches? I don't think so. Oh, right as I got done saying that too. Oh, what? Where am I? There you go. <laughs> Wee. Uh oh, there's bugs. Hey, Coleman. Oh, I have enough for resupply. Nice. I just heard what Gunner said. Gonna need a new can soon. This one's getting kind of old. What if they, like, allowed us to choose between different mollies? Like, you can have different variants of her and each one does a different thing. That'd be interesting. What? <laughs> yeah, see, like a grunt ambush like that, just gone. <laughs> With the snap of my finger, all the grunts are gone. Oh. That guy just popped out of an existence. <laughs> Listen. No. No. I'm not in the mood for you, guards. No. That was something. People were saying like, oh, I think Bosco can now fix the cargo crate manually for you or automatically for you. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, pal. But I can definitely go mine that Morkai that I saw. <laughs> nice. Empty question mark? Oh! Oh! Lemon clean! Nice! Oh, so they... Okay, so the lemon clean... That's the that's the uh, the paint job color that they were talking about. So lemon clean is in the performance pass, but it's for the weapons one. So I guess for the armor one, you have to get it from there. Okay, cool. Honestly, I also think fear is just like superior on the Thunderhead, since you can just like activate it so many times. Like that, this ten percent extra damage is just like nothing, honestly. Well, it might be better on, like, other overclocks, but, like, with Carpet Bomber? Not so much. Here, Bosco. No, never mind, I got it. Okay, here we go. Get me out of here! <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> Freebie! Freebie from these shackles. So that's a nice, fun fact. Lemon Clean is in the weapon, uh, or in the cargo crates. And probably in the masks, too. Well, probably for the pickaxe, it's the it's probably in the masks for the pickaxe. Also, that was my first time seeing the a Bosco item get retrieved from the cargo crate, so that's cool. I always wondered if they were just gonna like put the Bosco stuff in like I hear the Septus spreader in in just like the shop. He missed. He missed again. 
That really does just sound like the corrosive sludge bump whenever those foam globs land. I can't tell. Hey, it's Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> oh, Steve. You got stuck there. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> now I got away from Melly. Decontaminator looks really cool. I really like it with Dark Descent. And I did try it with the Roughneck because it looked pretty good. But I actually really like how it looked with Military as well. And I've also tried it with Acid Wash on one weapon that looked, it looked really good with too. I think the, the Sabata, not sure. Rocket Stone. So yeah, no, overall, it's a lot faster killing the grunts now. But once again, it's like in in the question of like, which one do you prefer more of, which is AOE or single target on the Thunderhead. If you really, really like AOE, uh, then Carpet Bomber is going to be a lot like nicer for you. But if you're going to like single target, then not so much. <laughs> so uh, I, I'll just I'll just say it is really, really nice, but I don't know if it's it's for me. So but yeah, no, uh, I'm glad I got an update, though.